Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I am looking oh so cute this morning. I uh, put my hair in a braid last night while it was kind of wet. Got this nice little wave. Very into it. In my pajamas still. Good morning, Riley. These are our boxes we need to take to the dump. We're gonna start our breakfast. Helper. Good girl sitting on your rug. Good girl. I love you. All right, we've got our potatoes going, our bacon going. They're looking good. We switched it back to the skillet. We've been going back and forth between the skillet mm -hmm. and our caraway pan, mostly because a year ago I absolutely wrecked the skillet. I was seasoning it on the stove and I accidentally left it on for way too long. I burned the heck out of the pan. Like the pan at the bottom, it was like orange. I was like, well, we gotta throw this away. But then I read online that you can revive a skillet pan, but it has taken a year because every single time we would use it, things would get stuck to it. So we weren't wanting to use it because it was just completely ruined. So over the last year, I have faithfully re-seasoned this pan and cared for this pan like it is my child. And so now we are back in the skillet with our potatoes and nothing sticks. So, we really like our skillet. We just had some serious issues with it when I destroyed it, but now it's back. So, if you burn your skillet to a point where you think it's unredeemable, it is never unredeemable. It was literally like, the iron was like flaking off of it. It was horrible. But look how good it looks now. Look at that. No stick. So we really like our caraway pans, but we've been faithfully tending to this pan and it does feel good to be able to use it and to not have to get rid of it because we've had it for a while now. And y'all always ask me about these potatoes. I used to do this complicated method where I would like put a lid on it, let it steam and then brown, but I've changed it up now where we put like a little bit of butter in. Well, I let them sit a little bit too long. We put a little bit of butter in and we let them brown. So you put it on medium heat right at the beginning and you have to stir them fairly often right in the beginning to keep them from sticking and to keep them from burning. And then the last like little bit of your cooking will be on low. So you'll crisp them up first and then you'll let them sit on low and they will be the perfect, the perfect potatoes. But I just let those sit a little bit too long, but they look good. <laughs> and we do, 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 do. Potatoes look fire. We just finished breakfast. I've got the dishes going in the dishwasher. Riley, are you just soaking in every moment on this couch this morning? She is always the most snuggly. We are gonna do a little beauty unboxing. Recently have gotten in randomly quite a few beauty products and I thought we would unbox them and try them out this morning because I don't have anything on my face and I need to do my makeup anyway. So I thought why not unbox these new products with you guys and test some of them out. All right, so first things, let's do the one that came in, well, Let's start with this one. This one is from Kerastase, which is a hair care company, and they make some of the best hair products. Looks like we've got... This is a fortifying conditioner for weakened hair, for hair that is prone to falling due to breakage from brushing. This is a rinse out conditioner, and this is perfect because I do color my hair. Last time I went and got my hair done, my hair girl Sarah was like, are you using a heat protectant? And I had been using one, but then I ran out and I hadn't been for a while. So I need to like do a little bit of care for my hair. I need to do like some masks for it. I've been putting in a heat protectant now and some oil to try to like revive it, but it is a bit on the drier side. My hair has always been a little bit drier, especially because I lighten it. So this is actually great. And I think that I might use this immediately. Next, let's do this, this guy here. This is from a brand called Loops. And I have seen their stuff, I think in anthropology, but um, I believe they're masks. So cute. 
Okay, love, love, love this packaging. So this, there's quite a few things in here. So this is a, for any time, anywhere, any place, weekly rest. Is this an eye mask? Oh, this is a lip mask. So I love their branding, so fun. And then these are, these are also lip masks. So this is a pack of five and we've got a pack of three, no, five eye masks as well. So they come in these little containers and you get multiple ones, but eye masks, lip mask, and then this is a variety loop box with, what are these? Oh my gosh. It's like a rainbow in here. How fun! Okay, so what is in here? It's a little pamphlet actually. For night out special occasion face mask. This is a for daytime refresh full time detox face mask. This is another face mask for morning calls, barely there, lazy Sunday face mask. This one is brightening and depuffing. This is a face mask anytime, anywhere, any place. This one is moisture and pore refining. This is for bedtime. And this one is for firming, moisturizing, and relaxing. So you get five face masks. I just love how colorful and fun those are. I love that. So very excited to try out this brand. Lots of beauty products today. Riley's down here hanging out. Hi, Riley. Um. Okay, next up, let's do these pink boxes. So I believe I know what these are, but I'm not positive. I don't want to get it wrong because I've definitely done that before. So we're just going to open it up and see who it's from. These were sent to my PO box. So sometimes I really don't know who they're from. They don't really tell me when they're sending something. I just check my box and sometimes there's something there. Sometimes there's not. So very securely packaged. Ah, I was right. This box is from Kylie Cosmetics. So I believe I have a Kylie skin box with all her skincare. And then this one is the Kylie Cosmetic box are her makeup products. And I've got to say, I have always been so curious about her makeup line and her skincare line. And I might have to do like a full face dedicated video review of Kylie Cosmetics and Kylie skin, but so excited. I've never been on their PR list before. They sent over so many goodies. So let's just dive in. First thing right on top, this is the Kai Light in Sunday Brunch Pressed Illuminating Powder. Love her packaging. It's like matte black. And then the actual packaging is so cute. Ooh, all of her stuff is so, like, so extra but I love it. So this is a pressed highlighting powder. Next, we have a liquid liner pen in black. It's packaging and it is a fine tip eyeliner. I don't use a ton of liquid liners. Maybe I'll try it out. This is the Kylie Jenner blush stick in the shade in my feels. That's what it looks like. Ooh, that is such a pretty color. That's gorgeous. Love that shade. Okay, gonna have to try that. Next up, we've got two eyeshadow palettes, gold and pink. So I don't know what this could be. This is the bronze palette. This one right here. Again, so glam, so extra. And then open it up. That is a beautiful palette. I love palettes that have black. I know some people can get super spooked by black, but I really like using it as kind of a smudged out eyeliner against the lash line. And then there's some beautiful, beautiful shades. I feel like these are the perfect balance between warm and cool tones. This one is gorgeous. This brown is gorgeous. These are pretty. And then this orange is really gonna warm up an eye look. That's actually a really usable palette. I feel like sometimes she releases a lot of collections that are a little bit like, not out there, but some that don't have a lot of shades you can use. But that one I feel like actually has quite a few shades that are really good. This one is the burgundy palette. So this one I assume would have lots of burgundies and reds, pinks, same packaging. And this one is so pretty. This is a beautiful fall palette, honestly. You've got your really nice deep reds, and then you've got these beautiful kind of orangey, kind of red undertones, 
but again really really good variety i will say i wish this one had a really really deep deep brown almost almost black brown because i feel like this one is kind of missing the dimension that that other one had the other one had black i wish this shade was just a little bit darker a little deeper but other than that i think this is also a really pretty palette with lots of really great Kind of fall shades so now on to the lip products kylie jenner is famously known for her lip kits i think that was the first product of kylie cosmetics i don't know if i follow kylie cosmetics on instagram but i do check out their page every once in a while to see what they're launching and their lip products have always intrigued me and so we have two of her famous lip kits in person i always see there's like a kylie cosmetics kiosk in the airport, which I think is super funny whenever there's like a kiosk in the airport, there's like a Benefit Cosmetics one, I think in Nashville as well. Anyway, I always see the lip kits in the kiosk. So let's open up this one right here. This one is the shade Kylie. Her lip kits include a liquid lipstick and a liner. I'm so excited. I'm gonna definitely, definitely have to try these out. So this is the liner right here. Really pretty neutral, very pigmented, really pretty. And then this is the matching liquid lipstick. And I think these are her matte ones. So I think it will dry down matte. That is a beautiful shade. That's a great universal shade right there. I really, really like that shade. This is the Dofa applicator and the packaging. I'm so excited for these lip products. I've heard really great things and I'm just excited to try them out for myself. The other shade that they sent over is Mind Your Business, which is this really kind of taupey mauve. It's more of a purple undertone. I really like this shade though, this Kylie shade, great universal shade. Oh, actually, I might like Mind Your Business a little bit more. So this is the... This is the liner, and it looks like this one needs to be sharpened a little bit, but this one, I'm trying to see in natural light. Yeah, this one's a little bit more of like a, like a mauve. It's a bit deeper, a little bit less blushy pink, but I really like that. Her liners are so pigmented and smooth though. And then this is the liquid lipstick. It almost has like a rusty color. Ooh, I actually, I actually might like this one more. I might like this one a little bit more. So this is Mind Your Business. This is the Kylie shade. I'm kind of into this though. I kind of like this deeper shade. Both really, really great shades though. Like very wearable, really excited. And it's not often I wear a liner underneath a liquid lipstick, but I'm really excited to try that out because I feel like it will last quite a bit longer. This is a lipstick and lip liner. So this isn't a lip kit. This is Fall In Love Matte. It's a little bit different than the lip kit. She has lots of lip products though, so. What did I say this was? Fall In Love, a matte shade. This one is a little bit more red. This is the liner. And then this is the lipstick. And it is showing up super red on camera. It definitely is more of a red than those other liquid lipsticks. And I'll just try to like swatch it. This is a really bad swatch. Really bold. So this is Fall In Love. Last Kylie Cosmetics product. This is the Kylie Jenner High Gloss. And oh, I love the packaging on this one. This pink, so fun. This is like a really pretty nude gloss. Do it here. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow, I really love that. Very pigmented gloss. So this is the shade. It is a little bit peachy, which I really like kind of peachy undertones on my skin tone. I think my favorite shades are this one and this, which is the shade Snatched. I wanna do like a full video where I can like really swatch that stuff, but that's very exciting. We have one more pink box from Kylie. This is the Kylie Skin Box, and um, it's quite full, quite heavy. This is the Kylie Skin Collection that they sent over. I'm so excited because there are so many good good things in here. This is the Coconut Body Lotion from Kylie Skin. You guys are gonna have to follow me on Instagram for real-time updates on how I'm liking these products, but this is the body lotion. I love this. This white matte packaging is really, really nice. I just wanna smell this. Gotta get an idea of the scent. Ooh, it's very light. It's really not, it's not overwhelming at all. 
I thought it was gonna be like heavy. It's a very light coconut smell. It's really, it's actually really nice. I definitely keep up slightly with the Kardashians. I, I've watched a few of their episodes. You can easily get sucked in, so I try to not turn it on because if I do, I'll start watching it a lot. But I don't follow any of them on Instagram. I think maybe Kindle is my favorite. Kindle or Kim is probably my favorite of all of them, but I don't know very much about them. However, I am always intrigued when any celebrity launches any sort of cosmetic line or jewelry line or, or really anything. It's very interesting now how all of these like celebrities and even YouTubers has been launching different products. So I always just get very intrigued. This is a detox face mask. The packaging is of course Kylie Pink. I also love that Kim launched a cosmetic line as well. I'm so intrigued by her brand as well. This is the detox mask. So it's like a charcoal thick mask. Then I have to try all these out. Skincare is a little bit harder because I have to like really try it out to give you guys results on if I'm liking it. This is a hyaluronic acid. This is great for adding moisture into the skin. It's also great for texture of skin as well. So this, oh, I really like this packaging. I wasn't expecting this. This matte white bottle dropper. I actually really like that packaging. I hope it's really good. With skincare, you obviously have to take a little bit more time and try it out because it could break you out or you could not have any results from a product, but it takes time. So skincare is a little bit harder to review, but still really excited to let you guys know what I think. This is the hydrating lip mask. I love her packaging. I will say her whole team did a really great job with this packaging, so. Kylie Skin. This is the lip mask. It almost looks like coconut oil, but I don't think it is. I think it's actually like a lip mask. And I actually might put a little bit on my lips because I don't have anything on my lips. It's definitely a mask. It's a little bit thicker of a consistency than a normal like lip balm, but it feels really good. I don't think there's really any fragrance in it, which is good. This is the face moisturizer. Again, love, love this packaging. This is a pump, which is really nice. You don't have to get your hands into your moisturizer, which can be just not very hygienic most of the time. Um, Eye cream. Again, little pump mechanism with the applicator that should be really good for under the eyes. Again, great that you don't have to use a jar with this. It has vitamin E and pomegranate extract that helps brighten and hydrate and reduce the puffiness. This is the broad spectrum sunscreen. I love that she came out with a sunscreen. Yes, I feel like every skincare line needs a sunscreen. <laughs> this is cute. I really like this. Reminds me of the super goop bottles, but like prettier. The super goop, I really like. I like their sunscreen a lot, but their bottles are like bright yellow. This one's actually really pretty. And uh, this is just a, a broad spectrum sunscreen. I'm also so happy that she has a vitamin C serum. I use a vitamin C serum every single day. I usually use the Glossier one, but I'm interested in trying a new one for sure. This is what the serum looks like and it is a pump mechanism. So I love that all of her products are pumps except for the lip mask. This is a hand mirror. I didn't even know she had it, but I had a hand mirror. I don't know when I've ever been like, I need a hand mirror, but cute. So that's Kylie on the back. And then the last thing in the box from Kylie's skin is a little travel case. Last box, I swear, <laughs> of beauty products. This one is from a brand that I'm actually really excited about. This is a brand called Alley Oop, and they are very trendy. Instagram brand and I actually found them on Instagram, but they DM me and they were like We just want to send you some products to try out and as you guys know like I've said a hundred times I'm so into beauty products that I was like, of course, I'd love to try it So this is what the inside of their box looks like and they've got lots of things in here All of these little package peanuts though are Cute, but they are so annoying because you can't get your product out without dumping peanuts everywhere <laughs> I need to take some of these out. I got enough of them out to where I can actually get into the box. First thing is the 11th hour eyeshadow liner stick in the shade Gata Guava. So it looks like it's gonna be this shade right here. This is an eyeliner stick, eyeshadow stick. So this is the packaging, really, really cute. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty shade. This reminds me of the Laura Mercier caviar sticks. This one, I think, is it is it matte or is it shimmer? I can't tell. This one's like a crayon though. Ooh, it's shimmer. It's really, really beautiful. This is the shade right here. I just very lightly swatched that. That's really pretty as an eyeshadow. The next thing is a multi-use face stacker. Three cream shades to play. This is a highlight, blush, and contour, contour palette. 
And this is in Sunkissed, which is, I'm assuming, the blush shade of the compact. I like their products because they seem really fun to use. I feel like makeup should be fun. And um, I, I really do like the inventiveness of their products. So this is what it looks like. It says Alley Oop on the top. You pop this top one open and it looks like this is your blush. Really pretty blush shade. I love that, very peachy. Then you go down to the next layer here, I think. Oh no, you slide it open. So this one's a slide, very, I'm gonna have to get used to this. This is your bronzer shade. And I think these are all, they're all cream products. So very, very creamy. Then the last one is at the bottom here. And this is your cream highlight. So you've got a highlight, you've got your bronzer, and then you have your beautiful blush and your mirror. So kind of fun. I, I love that. This is so nice because if you want to just take one compact, you have all three and you have a little mirror and they're cream products. So they're going to be super hydrating, very forgiving with blending, which is really nice. This is their lip trio in three finishes. This is the shade Mauve On. I love their shades, all very user-friendly. I haven't seen a shade yet that I'm a little bit concerned about. So sometimes I feel like brands have lip products where you're like, I can't wear that. Th these feel all very, very nice. So this is what the lip trio looks like. Three very beautiful mauve shades. I really like all of them. There's not a shade in here that I, that I don't really like. So with this, you pop out the shade that you want, and then you've got the tiniest little Dofa applicator. So the only thing with this that I will say is that each shade is fairly small. You're not getting a ton of product, but you are getting three. So it's really cute. It's fun to like pack this. And if you wanted to just take one, throw it in your purse, it's a great size. It's a great size to throw in your bag. It's a great size to travel with. You're not traveling with a full tube of lip gloss. So I actually do, I do like that. I do see that actually being very useful. And then this is a four in one makeup brush. Very intrigued by this. I think I saw this on their Instagram. Their products are just so interesting to me. I'm gonna try this out today, right now. After this unboxing, I'm gonna try this out. So this brush, look at this. It is a four purpose brush. So you have your powder, you have your spongy applicator, and then you've got, twisting that off, you've got an eyeshadow brush like that. Very interesting. And then you twist this part off here and you've got a, maybe like a, eyeliner or is this like a lip brush it might be a lip brush very very interesting i want to know if this will be functional or if this is kind of like gimmicky i think it's really really fun however sometimes your best tools to use are not all in one i find that whenever brands try to make travel sized things or brushes that are supposed to be multi-purpose sometimes they're not the best they're just okay so i'm really interested to try this out i feel like this would be really really fun if it works and it's good but if if it doesn't actually work like if this sponge isn't actually good and this powder brush isn't actually good it doesn't really serve a purpose but i'm really excited this is a little i think a little carrying case for your brush if you wanted to travel it seems like alley -oop is a brand that is created for on the go everything is very compact everything is multi-purpose the fact that this is you know, a three-in-one. You've got everything right here. This is an all-in-one. You have three right here. It does feel very like on the go, very quick of application. So knowing that, I'm excited to try it out. Okay, we are starting today's get ready with me in the bathroom because I'm going to just go ahead and give this Kylie Skin line a test here. One thing I did notice was that there's no cleanser. I don't know if she has a cleanser or if she just didn't send it, but I won't be able to cleanse with a Kylie Skin cleanser, but I do have the moisturizer, the vitamin C, the eye cream, the lip mask, and the sunscreen. So I have everything else that I need. So I'm gonna use the cleanser that I'm testing out right now. Right now I am using the Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. This is, I don't know. I'm not positive that this is my favorite cleanser. I think it's a fine cleanser, but nothing about it has been shocking me. I I just think it's okay. I need to look up the price point because I believe that this cleanser is actually very pricey. Okay, so this cleanser is $32. So it's not a drugstore cleanser. 
for sure but it's not also the most expensive cleanser like the fresh beauty cleanser i think is maybe like 40 something however i'm not wowed by it but it also hasn't like broken me out or done anything bad to my skin so i don't know it's just it's not that special of a cleanser there are other products from drunk elephant that i love way way more like their vitamin c serum and i really like their sunscreen so there are things that i like from the drunk elephant line and things that i'm just kind of like eh about and i'm sure that will be the same thing with kylie cosmetics as well always looking very cute when i do my skincare i'm gonna start with this drunk elephant cleanser this is like a clear cleanser so it's like a little gel and i always massage it into my hands like that and i always feel like this cleanser gets what it needs to get off i don't feel like it ever strips my skin of oils which is good but at the same time i'm not like wowed by it i need to put my contacts in because i cannot see anything so after i cleanse my face i'm gonna go in with this vitamin c serum this is for brightening adding radiance to the skin this is a glass bottle it feels like really great quality i really like her packaging a lot that's what the serum looks like it's kind of like a gel and i'm just going to massage this into the skin i might be crazy but it kind of smells like like a little bit smoky <laughs> I don't know why. I wonder if that's the serum. It smells almost like a bonfire. I don't, I have no idea why. That's so strange. Feels really lightweight on the skin though. After my serum is the moisturizer. This moisturizer is not a gel moisturizer. So this one has a little bit of the creamy consistency versus a gel, which means that it's gonna be your best friend in the fall and winter. It's not a super, super lightweight moisturizer. In the summer, I like to use a gel moisturizer. So the summer I was using the Curology gel moisturizer, but this is perfect for fall and winter. No fragrance, which is really, really nice. Next up is the eye cream. It has a little bit of a yellow tint to it, but you just put it on underneath your eyes and it should be hydrating. It's a pretty thick consistency. I'm going to apply the Broad Spectrum SPF 40 sunscreen and I think this one is clear cast this one is a clear cast sunscreen so it really is like the super goop one the unseen sunscreen it has almost like a pore filling mattifying feel to wow I love I love this sunscreen it honestly it reminds me a lot of the super goop unseen sunscreen very like very pore filling a little bit mattifying very lightweight i love that it's a clear cast very big fan and jason's working on music in the other room so you can probably hear it at this point point. and then the last thing is the lip mask and i'm gonna reapply this because i wash my face prepping my lips for the lip product and i've got to say my skin actually looks really good with all of those products on i feel like that sunscreen really did like mattify everything but i still have a little bit of a healthy glow i really like the sunscreen I really like the moisturizer. I think I like the serum. I'm not positive yet. I need to try it out a couple more days, see if there's like results from it. Same with the eye cream. It's really hydrating, really thick, but I need to see if it actually like brightens the eyes. I really like the way that they wear. I wonder how they do under a foundation. So I'm gonna apply my makeup now, try out those Alleyoop products and see what those are like. All right, I feel like my skincare products have sunk in and I actually really like the feel of all of them. Skin looks healthy, but not heavy a product, which I really, really like. Now it's time to get into the makeup portion and try out some of these Alleyoop and Kylie Cosmetic products. One thing I noticed about Alleyoop is that they don't have a foundation or maybe they do, they just didn't send it. I don't have a foundation from them. So I'm gonna use my tried and true Tarte Cosmetics. This is the Found Sealer Multitasking Foundation. I have worn this to three weddings now where I've done my own makeup for the weddings as a bridesmaid, like in weddings, I've worn this and I love it and it lasts all day, especially when it's set with a powder. It's really, really nice. So I'm just gonna use this foundation. I'm gonna try out their multitasking brush. I ended up watching a review, not a review, but a demonstration of this brush 
from the Alleyoop YouTube channel because I was a little bit confused about this brush and what each part is for. They said that this part can be used wet or dry and it is a concealer sponge, but I'm gonna try it with foundation. And then this is an angled brush for contouring or blush. The only thing that I'm a little bit confused about is that their blush product, their bronzing product, and their highlighting product that they sent, this thing right here, it's all cream product. And with cream product, I'm not positive I can use this. This looks like a powder brush. So I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to navigate this brush in these products because I want to give both a very equal shot. So we're going to start with this though. I did go ahead and I wet this because whenever I apply my foundation or concealer, I like to have a wet beauty sponge. Usually I use the Tarte sponge right here, but we're going to try this out. We're going to pump a little bit of this onto the skin here. And then we're going to take this brush, this little sponge part, and we're going to blend it out like a beauty blender. And we're just going to see if this can even apply a foundation. It might only be able to apply concealer. I'm just kind of leaving it up to chance here. Finish looks, looks nice actually. Maybe because it's a new sponge, I didn't apply enough product. It's picking it up a little bit, which I feel like any new sponge will do that. Or if you just wash your beauty blender will do that. So I don't want to say that it's the sponge's problem quite yet. I feel like I could do this so much faster with my beauty blender. Maybe this product isn't for people who wear foundation. It is blending it though. It's just a slow, a slow go. I'm going to need more product so far though not that bad not my tool of choice but if this is all i brought on a trip for like trying to condense maybe my makeup bag it works i will say the sponge works i like it wet i feel like when i felt the sponge dry i was like i don't see how this is gonna work very well it's slow though it's a slow process and because it's smaller it's not the most even i've ever gotten my foundation but it's not terrible i tried a laura mercier sponge and i did not like that it didn't even like absorb water but this one at least is a very like, bouncy sponge and you can fill it up i will say though it's the perfect size for applying any sort of concealer to the eyes i really like the shape of it and the fact that it is a kind of pen shape when applying foundation or concealer to the eyelid in this area right here that inner corner can get so splotchy with a normal beauty sponge because you're trying to hold it on you're trying to like really get in there this is actually kind of nice i will say for that for all over face i don't hate it I don't know if it's my favorite, but I don't hate it. It's doing an okay job. I think I really needed to break in the product. With a new sponge, you really got to like absorb product into it. So I think that was maybe my first issue with it was that it wasn't it wasn't really moving product. The finish isn't that bad. I'm gonna use my Kylie Cosmetics mirror and see what it looks like. I might need to conceal a little bit just on my cheeks where I have my acne scarring, but okay. So far, finish is actually kind of smooth. I, I really, I'm really shocked by that. I honestly had very low expectations for the sponge. I gotta be completely honest. I was not, I didn't have high hopes for this. I really didn't. It felt a little gimmicky, but the sponge itself works. If this is all you have and you want an all-in-one brush, the sponge does what you need it to do. Would I suggest using an actual like beauty sponge when applying your foundation? Yes. So I'm gonna grab a concealer, touch up just my cheek areas, and then this one little pesky spot right here, and we'll keep moving. This concealer is the All Nighter Urban Decay Concealer. I swear by this concealer, I... I really do. It's the best. It's so full coverage. It just works so well. I'm gonna use this same brush here and blend it to the skin. Blends out the concealer actually really nicely. I will say it is really, really nice for around the eyes. All right, so to set my face, I'm gonna use this powder brush and I'm gonna use this Glossier Wilder. I'm a little bit confused because when I watched the demo of this brush, the Alleyoop channel was using products that were like powder based. They weren't using their bronzer or their blush. They were using other bronzers and blushes. So when they were talking about like using this angled brush to contour, they weren't using their cream bronzer. So that's why I'm a little bit confused what this brush is used for and how it kind of fits into the set with their cream products that they have in their line. Not my favorite powder brush, but again, if this is what you need, an all-in-one tool, it's not bad. It's really not, gets the job done. It's very light, very fluffy. It's actually a good, good shape. Now, the only thing is if I wanted to use this as a bronzer or a blush 
brush after I set my face. I don't know if I could use it again as a face setting powder brush. So you really do need more than one brush if you're gonna do a full face of makeup. I am really intrigued by these cream products. I just need to know what kind of brush to use for them. So I feel like for this blush, I can use my finger and then blend it out with this powder brush maybe. But for the bronzer, I don't know if I want to use my finger and like muddy that up. So I might get my cream bronzer brush really quick. Okay, so going in with this bronzer here, got my cream bronzer brush. And immediately I notice that as I dip into there, it gets a little messy. I mean, obviously you, you close it, so you won't get it everywhere, but that is something to keep in mind. It doesn't stay perfectly cute, but I, I think I picked up a lot of product. This is actually really pigmented. I did, I picked up a lot of product. I'm really glad I'm putting this on the back of my hand because I definitely over picked up product. Really creamy though. I will say this bronzer melts into the skin. It's nice. This is what I would expect Glossier to make, honestly. It's a really nice bronzer. Very, very workable. If you love a light makeup look, you're gonna love, you're gonna love this bronzer. It's actually really great. Really, really like it. So knowing that you don't have to attack the pan with your brush, I'm going to lightly dip in here now. That's probably why I got it messy because I was just like, yeah, this is a beautiful bronzer. I really, really like this. It looks airbrush it looks flawless it just looks like you got some really nice sun nothing cakey nothing too harsh doesn't look like i did a big contour i really like it that's a great bronzer i will say for blush now i'm getting the idea that this is for very on the go because there's a little mirror in here and it, it does feel like throw this in a bag that was their whole thing is it's on the go makeup for my blush here i'm gonna actually apply it with my finger i think because it's again really 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 creamy i barely dipped my finger into there and we got a lot of product gorgeous blush color i will say and i think i'm just gonna blend this out with my finger here and then maybe blend it with this sponge here that's a beautiful blush. This is a very pretty blush. I love that. Very, very creamy. I'm excited to try that Kylie Skin one too because I love a cream blush. It just melts in the skin and this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I love this like kind of peachy, peachy shade. This is really nice. That's, that's beautiful. I will say so far their products I'm loving. This brush, not bad, but not my favorite. Beautiful eye. I really like that. I really, really, really like that. I'm going to go back over my face one more time with this, what's ever left on here, and just kind of press it. I wanna set that cream bronzer and set the cream blush as well so that it doesn't move throughout the day. I'm also gonna apply a little bit of that blush to my nose because that is, that is just so pretty. I love, love this. This blush. So far, blush bronzer, both really lovely, both really, really nice. I really like them. So two out of three, so far so good. Now I gotta try this highlight that's in this palette as well. So this is the cream highlight, really, really pretty. Not too light where it's gonna wash you out. This one is also gorgeous. You can apply your cream highlights with your finger. And we're gonna go up here. This is nice. It's creamy, but it's not, it doesn't have an oily finish. I don't feel like I'm a glazed donut, but it does have a really nice moisturized feel to it. It's a pretty highlight. Don't know if it's my favorite. I don't know if I love it as much as the blush and the bronzer, but it's not bad. And then I'm going to just apply this under my brows and in the inner corner just a little bit. If you do not wear a ton of makeup and all you would apply is blush, bronzer, highlight, I really like this. I think it is actually, it's actually really good. The products themselves, I actually love the formula. I love the way that they feel on the skin. It looks like I have this like dewy, glowy, I don't know, I just look so healthy and I really, really like it. I do feel like all three products in here are usable. So you're not buying a compact and only able to use one of the products. This is the sun-kissed one. So I will link these down below. I didn't end up using this eye pencil because I really want to try out this Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, but I did swatch this one so you guys know what this looks like. I'm gonna do an eye look and then I'll finish it off with these lip products. So for my eyes, I have two Kylie Cosmetic palette options. 
we've got the what was it called they both just say pressed powder palette where's the unless i'm missing it they don't have an actual like description between the two they look the exact same the back is really where you can tell but there's no actual they both just say kylie kylie jenner pressed powder palette and then there's different shade names obviously but there's no actual like description on them of which one they are from the outside one of them's the burgundy palette one of them's the bronze palette both really beautiful very usable shades i think i'm going to use the bronzed palette because we have this really deep black and i want to do like a nice eye look so now this is where this is where the brush is getting a little bit interesting we're going to use this little brush right here so i just took this off and we're going to use this as our eyeshadow brush and i think this can be used as like a eyeliner brush so this is what it looks like when it's taken off i'm gonna use this shade right here quartz this is a shimmer shade you use it all over the lid and this is so, such a funny little brush to me but again i guess if this is all you have and you're traveling maybe it's maybe it's actually a good brush it actually does transfer the shadow pretty well it's a good shape it's like a good universal round eyeshadow brush shape this kylie palette is really beautiful i actually really like that so we're just gonna go in same shade over here it gets the job done would i say it's my favorite brush probably not but it gets the job done if you only wear a couple of shades or you just like one wash of a shimmer over your eyelids you like a very minimal makeup look honestly works it's really not that bad i actually i can actually see myself using this if i really needed to i'm gonna do this gold stone and do this a little bit lower closer to the lash line but still oh wow this is such a beautiful shade i really really love this gold stone shade beautiful very pigmented honestly to be able to apply this with a brush and not have any i mean really no fallout no excess eyeshadow on my like cheeks is actually really impressive i will say though the fact that there's no like blending brush with this it's a little tricky cannot lie it's also a pretty short brush so you can't really like get high up on the brush it's just very short very squatty i really like i really like this palette really beautiful okay so now i'm gonna go in with this this bronzite shade right here they're all really really pigmented kylie did a really good job with this palette the pigment is amazing i barely dip into that and it just i had high hopes so i had i had high expectations for how much people rave about this brand i had high expectations for this do the side i will say this brush is not perfect for all eyeshadow application it's good when you're applying like one shade but then when you start getting into like three colors it's when it gets a little bit not as effective really not bad though i'm gonna see if i can even apply with this end right here on my lower lash line we're just gonna try we'll see we'll see what we can do here actually kind of works i'm gonna go in with obsidian right here this black taking this little angled brush right here and applying it as an eyeliner along the lash line really pigmented this eyeshadow palette guys no joke the fact that there is zero fallout with this black eyeshadow and i'm getting this amount of pigment and precision is incredible this palette guys really really good she did a great job on the eyeshadows and honestly this brush actually worked pretty well i'm surprised i'm very surprised but it did what i needed it to do and that's that's pretty good for a multi-purpose brush i was able to do the concealer the foundation the setting powder the only thing i wasn't very confident in is the cream bronzer you guys saw that just applied so beautifully now i'm gonna finish off the look with a lip color this is the little trio i think i want to go with this shade this is a little bit more of a peachy deep shade or should i go more like cash maybe more cash with the lip i'm gonna do this this shade right here this is in the shade mauve on gloss you pull it off the little one right here it's almost the same color as my lip color really comfortable gloss not sticky at all not too thick really nice wearable color i'm very very happy with the lip gloss i'm very very happy 
with this trio. I'm pleasantly surprised by this brush. I wouldn't say it is my go-to when I have options, but if I am traveling, honestly, if I'm just taking a carry-on or it's an overnight thing, this brush actually is, is kind of useful. I actually can see myself using this and it's nice that they do give you this little pouch so that you can throw it in your carry-on or whatever. It doesn't get super messy but this is the final makeup look threw on some mascara the glossier lash look mascara and i feel like i haven't had skin look this lightweight healthy glowy dewy in a really long time i really love that trio compact i highly highly recommend it especially if you don't wear a foundation it's gonna go on your skin so beautifully it's gonna be so hydrating and melt into your skin it, it just looks so good i've got my ring light because it got randomly very dark outside but i'm gonna throw some clothes on i'm still in my loungewear so i need to throw some clothes on get cute today because i need to film another video but my skin looks so good and I I just feel so much better when my makeup looks good. So I'm excited to film my next video knowing that my makeup looks like this. Just threw on this Madewell top. I'll show you guys my full outfit in a second. I was gonna curl my hair, but I kind of like this like messy beachy wave from my braids. So I'm gonna spray in this Kristen S dry working texture spray. I use this all the time whenever I curl my hair, but I also really like it as a finishing spray if I just have it like wavy. So I just spray a little bit on the ends and then kind of work my hands through it like this to give it some texture, some life. But this is my outfit for the day. I've got on, this is the Madewell resourced cashmere top that I got in my last video. And then I have not been able to stop wearing these Everlane jeans. They are so stinking comfortable. They're just so comfy. I just wear them every day pretty much. And then these are the Madewell combat boots. So really, really like the texture of these boots with these jeans. And then this is just a super cozy shirt. And to finish off the look, I threw on my Majeri pieces, so my earrings and then my rings as well. And you guys can get 10% off of Majeri using my link at any time down below in the description box. But I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me today and seeing my unboxing of beauty products and my review of Ali Oop and Cali Cosmetics. If you guys enjoyed this video and you like these types of beauty reviews, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you've tried any of these brands before. If you are new to my channel and you want to stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you back on my channel and I will see you guys in my next one very, very soon. Bye!